Hello and welcome to Veterans Metals Workshop. I'm Frank Foster, your host, and I'm glad to have you here today. We're going to talk about United States Marine Corps decorations, service medals, unit awards, and ribbon-only awards. Do you know the difference? Let me tell you, in the Marine Corps Pyramid of Honor, there's a big difference, and you want to know the difference. So follow through with me, and I'll walk you through the Pyramid of Honor, and you'll understand the difference between a decoration, a service medal, a unit award, and a ribbon-only award. And by the way, everything that you're going to see today is available in my newest book, Marine Awards and Insignia, an Illustrated History, over 200 pages in all color, printed in the United States, available for you on Amazon Prime. And if you're quick, $5 off the regular price. Okay, let's go. There are basically two general categories of medals awarded by the Marine Corps. Namely, as shown on the left, a decoration, and as shown on the right, a service medal. The terms decoration and medal are often used interchangeably today, but there are recognizable distinctions between the two of them. Let's talk about decorations first, because in the Marine Corps, decorations are personal awards that are conferred upon an individual for acts of heroism, acts of gallantry, or for meritorious service. Personal decorations usually have distinctive and very often unique shapes, such as crosses or stars. For example, you can see the Distinguished Flying Cross, the Bronze Star Medal, the Purple Heart, the Air Medal, the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal. Whereas service medals are awarded for good conduct, participation in a particular campaign or expedition, or a non-combatant service award, and they normally come in a round shape. Now, the fact that some very prestigious awards have the word medal in their titles, such as Medal of Honor or Marine Corps Brevet Medal, the Navy and Marine Corps Medal, can cause some confusion. And, of course, there is one decoration which is the exception to the rule, and that is the Navy Distinguished Service Medal, which is round, but it does have a star above it. A couple of more distinctions of decorations. They usually come very nicely boxed with a ribbon, a lapel pin. Sometimes even the higher decorations come with a miniature medal. While the Medal of Honor and the Navy Cross and the Silver Star can only be awarded for valor, all of the other decorations, or most all of the other decorations, can be awarded for either valor or for meritorious service. And the way that the Marine Corps shows that is with attachments. Small metal attachments or devices are worn on the metal suspension ribbon or ribbon bar to denote whether the award or decoration is for valor, which would be a V device, or an additional award, such as the gold or silver stars. The examples shown here give you a pretty good idea. Some attachments and devices, for example, are shown here. A V device that is used to indicate valor, a star for additional awards, an M to indicate mobilization, an hourglass to indicate years of service, the gold V used by the Marine Corps for valor, gold stars to indicate additional awards of a decoration, and silver stars to indicate five awards. Uh, block numerals are used on air medals and uh, oak leaf clusters and then bronze stars and silver stars. And I'll show examples as we go along. The United States Marine Corps, being part of the U.S. Naval Service, follows the same awards program as the United States Navy, and it's governed by the Department of the Navy, but the Corps administers its own awards program. So some of the awards and decorations are the same for the Navy and the Marine Corps, and some are common to all the services of the armed forces. So let's look at unit awards now. As I mentioned earlier, personal awards are conferred upon individuals' facts of heroism, acts of gallantry, or for meritorious service. Unit awards are awarded to individuals who are a member of a unit that is cited for outstanding performance. And unit awards can be very prestigious. The Navy Presidential Unit Citation is the equivalent of a unit receiving the Navy Cross. It's a big deal. So the Marine Corps looks at personal decorations and unit awards as both being personal decorations and are both very prestigious. 
So, of course, you have to ask, if unit awards are so prestigious and they don't have a medal, how do you wear them when you're wearing your medals? Well, the answer is, when a Marine wears his medals over on his left side, he wears his unit citations over on the right side. That brings us to service medals and ribbon-only awards. And campaign or service medals or ribbon-only awards are issued to individuals who participate in particular campaigns or a period of service for which the medal is authorized. This is a good time to point out that campaign and service medals come in a number of different forms as well as the decorations, but basically they come in a full-size medal which can be both in bronze or for the Marine Corps it can be anodized or gold-plated. It comes in miniature medals. It also comes in a service ribbon and it comes generally with a lapel button for a civilian suit this example of a Vietnam campaign medal shows a regular version and also the gold-plated version as well as two versions of the miniature medal, the lapel pin, and the small miniature ribbon, which is often used by veterans to put together a smaller set to wear on their lapel. Ribbon-only awards are like service medals, except they do not come with a medal. They come simply with a ribbon, and they're issued to individuals who participate in a particular assignment for a certain qualifying period of time. The example shown here, starting in the upper left-hand corner and going left to right, are the Navy and Marine Corps Overseas Service Ribbon, the Marine Corps Recruiting Ribbon, the Marine Corps Drill Instructor Ribbon, the Marine Security Guard Ribbon, and the Marine Combat Instructor Ribbon. Well, now you know that decorations are personal awards presented to individual Marines for act of heroism, act of gallantry, or meritorious service. And if the award is for valor, it comes with a V device on the ribbon of the decoration. Campaign or service medals are round and are issued to individual Marines who participate in particular campaigns or periods of service for which that particular medal is authorized. Unit awards, such as this Navy Meritorious Unit Accommodation, are awarded to individual Marines who are members of that unit when it is cited for the outstanding performance. Of course, ribbon-only awards are issued to individual Marines for participation in a particular assignment for a certain length of time for which they qualify. So if you look at an individual Marine's ribbons, you would see if he received a decoration for valor, that it would be shown with a V device. And if he'd received multiple awards of a decoration for meritorious service, it would be shown with multiple gold stars, for example. Two campaign stars are shown on this Afghanistan Service Medal ribbon. And the ribbon-only award for overseas service is shown here. So here's a real-world example of a Marine wearing his personal decorations on the top row, then his unit awards on the second row, and then his individual campaign and service medals to include service in Afghanistan and Iraq. And then on the very bottom row, the next to last ribbon is a ribbon-only award for overseas service. And then the final ribbon, being one that you've never seen before probably, is the NATO medal for Kosovo service, and he shows multiple awards of that. We'll ramp up with a handsome display of a Marine wearing his full dress uniform with his decorations and service medals, all of them gold-plated. And I would be remiss in not pointing out that in certain very prestigious ribbon-only awards like the Combat Action Ribbon, there are commemorative medals available to go into personal display cases, not for use on the official uniform, but for display cases. Thanks for joining us today on our show for Marine Awards, the difference between a decoration, a service medal, a ribbon-only award, and a unit award. And so now I think you know the difference. I'll remind you again, everything that you want to know about Marine Awards and decorations and service medals is in our latest book, Marine Awards and Insignia, an Illustrated History, available for you on Amazon Prime. If you've enjoyed this, please give us a like, or even better, subscribe. Thank you.